So your man Rance has been roaming around presenting Jack's Best plaques. Today's destination, five points. This plaque for Jack's Best Pet Boarding. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> Did you see that power pose? Jamie Yoakum Pittman and her husband Matt are super excited that you, our local experts, voted Bark on Park Jack's Best Pet Boarding. As you will learn, BOP is multifaceted. Originated in 2009, um, I started off here just as a boutique and eventually I turned into a grooming facility and then boarding and daycare. So now we are a full facility that basically caters to dogs and their owners. We're pretty much your one-stop shop for everything you need from your dog, for treats and dog food. You need grooming, boarding, daycare. We, we do it all here. Told ya. So uh, pet boarding was not the initial focus, but being named Jack's best for that aspect of the business has them feeling some type of way. Hey, we'll take it, I we'll take it. it. We, we, <laughs> we love having dogs here in Jacksonville board with us here at Bark on Park. Uh, they're like family, so they come in not only as a boarding, we have daycare all day long, so we always say bring your furry friends over to come play with their furry friends. and uh, Be part yeah. of the family. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Jamie moved here from Miami in 2009 and discovered there weren't a lot of pet boarding options for her dogs. With a background dealing with animals, she took a leap of faith. So why five points? I lived actually just down the street and I used to shop here all the time and then I was like, there's an empty spot. I should just jump in on the, the availability. And back then, I could walk, park, bike, and there was, you, you, I mean, it was an open game. Now you can't even find a parking spot. Agreed on that parking. When you roll up on the storefront, you don't expect the expanse beyond the door. It looks small from the outside. It just, yeah, it, it, it goes back far. And we have the only outdoor space that's surrounded by a building in Five Points. So we're able to, to do a lot of uh, outdoor play with the dogs because that's what dogs love. I think what's great to be a part of uh, Historic Five Points is that there's great traffic here. There's other amazing businesses right on this strip. So we're lucky enough to have a lot of foot traffic too. So when people walk by like you and you say, hey, is this just pet boarding? Luckily, they'll see right through the window and walk in and get some more info, especially the dog lovers in this neighborhood supports dogs as well. So it's great. Let's go deep into the venue. So you walk into the boutique, which is for dogs, cats, and humans. Uh, you walk through the back door and that's our grooming facility. You walk farther back, and that's our outdoor daycare. And then around the corner, you walk in to the opposite side, and that's boarding and daycare. And then you can walk back into the boutique. It's kind of like a roundabout. Another perk to this location, drop your pet off, grab a bite, grab a drink, shop, catch a flick. People love to be with their dogs at all times these days, especially because of COVID. The dogs are used to being with their owners. so. There's times where you want to take that to a separate, you know, you want to separate for a minute. So when a dog is uh, here, their owners are usually at Hawkers or Crane Ramen or Hoptinger, or they're at the bar across the street or the movie theater. And we do, uh, we do half day daycare, we do full day daycare. A lot of our clients come in for full day because their owners are working a nine to five job. And now back at, you know, their actual workplace, not at home. And I think too, like as we go into holidays and summertime and everybody starts to travel again. I think that's where the, the boarding comes in that we were lucky enough to win for. Uh, that's where our, you know, it comes into play. So where people start to travel again, it's very easy to come in, drop off your dog, we'll watch your dog for how many ever days that you're out of town and then know that your dog's in good hands and then you can just swing back by and pick up your dog on your way home. The couple breaks down why they think they were voted as Jack's best. I think longevity, I think my staff, I think our brand, um, I think that we, you know, we're a small business and all, every dog that comes in is like my own. I treat them like my own personal dog. I mean, I've had times where I've brought own, brought home owner's pets because they felt anxious or, um, you know, just nervous about being in a boarding facility. I think too, the, the, one of the great things about Bark on Park is it is a local feel. We live here in the community. We're always around. We support other small businesses. And I think people realize that we're one of the great small businesses here. And trust, and, and, and trust us. So, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you Jacksonville, Jacksonville for, for voting, voting Bark, Bark on Park. Park for Jack's best boarding. <laughs> I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So I'll be rolling around presenting more packs.
plaques for our most recent round of categories that include the best local sports team, Jacksonville Icemen, best surf shop, Aqua East Surf Shop, both repeat winners, best waterfront dining, Caps on the Water, best wine list, Bistro X, which also won Jack's best happy hour, best sandwich, Blue Boy Sandwich Shop, which Vic Mick says a has a long history in Arlington, and best fried chicken goes to Bok Bok Chicken, who won for best food truck. So we'll be seeing them again soon. Just know that you are our local experts. Make sure you make your voices known. Jack's Best, presented by Visit Jacksonville. We are the local expert.